Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Property Management with today's Landlord Tip. Today I'm joined by Nick Ludwig with Dolliff Insurance. How are you doing, Nick? Real good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. So we're going to talk about tenant insurance, tenant slash renter's insurance, and uh, we're going to go down a few rabbit holes here. One, you know, a lot of landlords ask, can I require it, and what are the benefits? So, Nick, I'm going to hand it off to you. You know, number one, uh, can landlords require tenants to have this? I know that's more of a legal issue, but... Yeah, yeah, I have seen it, and and again, it depends on the state, the jurisdiction, obviously, and it, and it depends on how you you write and word your lease. But I have seen leases, landlord tenant leases, that require uh, the tenant to carry insurance, and this is is much tip more typical, obviously, with commercial leases. And then, in fact, yeah. that's almost a, a standard with commercial. So, and we're going to focus more on you know residential, right. single family, multifamily today. And kind of the, the pros and cons of, you know, your tenants having renter's insurance. So I get a question frequently, and, and we talked about this recently, like, does that, the fact that I require my tenants to have renter's or tenant insurance reduce my premiums as a landlord? And I think the answer is really no, right? Well, yes, probably not. In other words, there, there's... Uh the, the issues are is that the insurance company or the underwriters that are, are, that are looking at your property, you know, I, I think in, uh, all things being equal, they probably would say, yeah, I think it's a good idea that you have your tenants uh, have insurance uh, because it, it, in fact, may, depending on the circumstance, it may limit the landlord's liability depending on what happens. But I think where, where landlords, where they're coming from when they ask this question, mostly to me, they're always asking, well, if my tenant burns down my building, can I go after them, right? Can I go after them? Can I sue them? Can I collect from their insurance? And that is, is an if, unfortunately. And some of it is legal, right? It has nothing to do with even whether the insurance will cover that or not. It's whether or not you can actually enforce the terms of, of a lease that says, look, it, if you burn down my building, you're going to be responsible for it. Yeah, right? for instance, I had a tenant light a fire, admittedly. Absolutely. Uh, and I think my deductible was five thousand dollars, and uh, you know they didn't ha they did not have and this was five six seven years ago, and they did not have renters insurance. Um, and they probably didn't have five thousand dollars. They did not have five thousand dollars, so we just called it a wash, you know. Right. Although I did find it humorous when they asked if they could get their security deposit back. <laughs> right, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you, you know, so there. So what? What? Um. So say the tenants don't carry. Uh, renters or tenant insurance, and you do have a flood or a fire or something that qu causes the tenants to be displaced. Um, you know, you're kind of, and I know that again, I don't want to get into legal questions, but uh, does the landlord's policy cover any displacement of tenants or anything typically? Or the the landlord uh, insurance will cover you for loss of rents, so it, it actually it, for your interest, it doesn't pay for your tenants it doesn't give any kind of coverage to your tenants so they would a uh, benefit to the tenants would be that they would carry their own insurance and that's then right. they would have coverage if they were displaced that's right and and then in the meantime the landlord okay so the building's unoccupied you have to let the tenants go or the tenants just leave they say i'm not sticking around here and so uh yeah your loss of rents would be covered under landlord's policy but you're right there's advantage to the tenant and and sort of an indirect advantage to the landlord to having exactly. the tenants have their own coverage because now they've got some coverage so they can have a, a temporary place to live and pay for it. And, uh, and in fact, they... And it's uh, less headaches for the landlord because the tenant's going to say, well, you owe me all this money because I've been displaced or my stuff has been ruined, which, in fact, you don't. Right. But it just kind of it kind of softens the landing a little bit, I right. guess. And so, and so, again, I've seen, I have seen leases... Um, apartment leases that, that actually have requirements for tenant insurance. I, of course, think it's a good idea because I think tenant insurance is a, is a great bang for your buck. And, uh, and, and, it, does, and it does have legal, legal aspects aside, you know, every circumstance is different. But, you know, if the tenant has got some insurance, there's a better chance that either they'll, they can, you can either collect or they can contribute to a loss or if there's a, a third-party loss and somebody gets injured and it's the tenant's fault, 
instead of that injured party going back against the landlord, they can go back to the tenant. Tenant's and so policy. Tenant's yeah. policy. So there's there's lots of different benefits for them having their own insurance. Well, and we're not talking about a lot of money either, like with the tenants. I mean, these policies are ten to twenty dollars a month. Exactly, one hundred and fifty bucks a year, two hundred maybe if you have a lot of property. Your right, right. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, so if someone wants to dig a little deeper here, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? Yeah, you can call me at 952-593-7410 or email nludwig, that's N-L-U-D-W-I-G, at doliff.com. That's D-O-L-L-I-F-F.com. Awesome. Thanks, Nick. Thanks. And I'm Scott McCark with Verde Property Management, and we hope this content has been valuable. If you want to reach us, the number is 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888. Call or text or online 24-7 at verde-realestate.com. If we can be of further service, please let us know. Thank you.